Welcome everybody to a very exciting episode of Cells in a Submarine, or at least I'm really excited. We're playing a pretty new game called uh, Star v Stardew Valley. Uh, it came out at uh, the very end of February, so just really a week or so ago. Um, both Oliver and myself have played quite a few hours of this game already. I'm playing it today. Um, Oliver's being incredibly quiet and letting me just kind of dominate the conversation here. So how's it going, everybody? I mean, this isn't really a conversation, but okay. You know, you know. So what, what, what are you, what, what are you doing? So I'm creating a character. Uh, there are a lot of options. I've mostly picked what I want, but like you can, um, if, for people who are interested in playing. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, uh, you can choose like, there's like 112 different shirts, there's like 30 something hairs, including apparently Leia buns, uh, here let me show you, check that out, check that noise out, um, there is no separation of, um, boys and girls, uh, male and female hairs and clothing and stuff like that, but it's, it's really cool. I've mostly customized the appearance of the character I want. I'm going for a male today because on my own account I have a female and I'm curious to see some of the interactions um, with other characters in the game. Because boy, there are a lot of interactions. This, yeah. This game is like if you took... Okay, well, I guess most of our viewers probably won't even know what any of this is, but there, there's a game series called Harvest Moon, which is all about farming. Virtual and chores. It's virtual chores. It's a lot of fun, actually. It really, really is one uh, of my favorite games. And then you combined series. it with Animal Crossing, which was like Harvest Moon, but without the farming part. <laughs> it was everything else. The socializing, the fishing, the mine. Wait, was there mining now? Yeah, there. I, I mean, you had a pick. I think you could okay. break rocks All and right. get things. And then um, there was, um, and then Rune Factory, which was like Harvest Moon. But with monsters. But with monsters, and Fighting. it deviated yeah. heavily from Harvest yeah. Moon in the end. Anyway, what, so what's your name going to be? I have no idea. I, I'm i better with um, with female names. Roberto, okay. No, no, I'm not feeling it. How about it? Oh, that's, that's some mean shit. <laughs> Is that really? Is that no, too mean? No, it's fine. It's fine. Should I... Uh, should I change it? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I I have very funny and original names, as you can tell. I could always go for Nanerts, but that's, no. that's a little Nanerts special. Nanerts is uh, for a very special Harvest Moon game. <laughs> oh, hi, Nanerts. How's that, it going? Uh, that completely um, shit the bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Vardenfell. <laughs> I don't know. Vardenfell like... Farm. <laughs> I was looking at our. You do um, remember what happens to Vardenfell, right? Yes, but you know, different universe. So, okay. Um, I don't if know. If a moon crashes on our land, I'm blaming you. <laughs> All the more appropriate, then I think. Oh, uh, let's see. What's my favorite thing? Um. Clearly, puppies. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So my mom um, was telling me about, um, she was dog sitting and apparently uh, the owner, the owner passed away and, um, like this guy's about to do. Yeah. Yeah. Poor guy. He, uh, looks so peaceful though. And he has a very interesting room set up. My very special grandson. I want to have you to have, I want to have the sealed envelope of yours. I uh, want you to have. I know. Um, and uh, so she's probably going to take the dog in. She sent me a picture of it, and it's uh, pretty adorable, actually. It's some sort of um, like terrier, and uh, you know she looks she looks really friendly, really sweet. Uh, I think she ha I think she has a beard going for her, and I love dogs with beards. They they're so cute. They get lots of water stuck in their their beard, and it's adorable. Anyways. Meanwhile, while the story's happening. Yeah, it's a sad part of the... Uh, yeah, there, um, there is lightning outside. You didn't need to... <laughs> uh, uh, so, um... We're, we're recording this now in a thunderstorm, apparently. If, if yeah. there's any rumbling like that, I don't know if that picked up. There, but that was uh, quite a bit of rumbling. Wow, that is... So, now it's XX years later. 
Yeah, we don't know how many years later it is. But, it's just uh, X number of years. We're at Joja, the uh, corporate this corporation. Smile, you're with Joja. I love the guy in the sombrero, but oh my, my favorite God. my favorite's coming up in a moment. Is it, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think you know which one I'm talking about. And there we go. <laughs> the skeleton. <laughs> yep. So yeah, um, if you guys hear any thunder in the background, which probably won't, but our our mics are pretty directional, but you might. Yeah. Oh. I, I just wasn't expecting it. I thought it was coming Tuesday is the thing. Well, weather changes. It's Dear true. Jean, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Damn right, you're working a shitty job. This looks horrible. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Vardenfell Farm. <laughs> It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift. Wait, yes, this was my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Oh, that's so sweet. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, tell it, give him a kick in the ass. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. So thus begins our journey. Yeah. So I like how we have that at our work desk. Just by the way, that that's my uh, main comment. Hang on. All right. And we're taking a bus. And wheels look at on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All Stardew Valley. 0.5 miles. So obviously we're in uh, Merca here. Hey, we could be in. Other England. places, uh, they use they use miles. Yeah, but it's more likely that they'll ha they'd have kilometers. Maybe I don't know. I've never been to England. The, from what I understand of England, is it's a mess. Yeah. Oh hello. Oh hey cutie pie. <laughs> Local carpenter Mayor Lewis sent me. Oh that old fart's still around. Um. He's there right now, tidying up things at the farm for you. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. That oh, seems pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. So to give a little bit of background on this game, it was made by one person. Yeah, it's, um, that's amazing. Like... How, how many years was this? Like, th three I, or four years? I don't know. Ooh! Oh my god, look at all the weeds! Oh, what's the matter? I mean, sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Man, not even a Harvest Moon game was this cruel. Um, I beg to differ because you never played uh, Friends of Mineral Town or Back to Nature, did you? Uh, no. I played it... I played Magical Melody and 64. Yeah, so Back to Nature and Friends of Mineral Town, and by default the female versions of those games, um, they were pretty cruel. Uh. Oh, the new farmer. Uh, they, like, oh, it wasn't... You must be Lewis. I'm here to give you a swift kick in the ass. <laughs> Kaboom! Um, everyone's been asking him about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. It In those games, the farm is never as big, but uh, it was pretty much overrun by boulders and stumps. And well, We haven't even shown people how big this place is. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's gigantic. It's huge. I... Very rustic. It's very rustic. Look, zoom in on it. Rustic, that's one way to put it. It's more like a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, decrepit piece of shit. <laughs> that's what I'm, crusty might crusty. be. Crusty. Me a little more apt, but I like decrepit more. Rude. I love, there's so much detail in this game, too. It's just, it's amazing. Um,. Take a house upgrade. Oh shit, he found me out. Um. So. Uh, yeah, sorry. I I uh, I realized I hadn't started the timer. So. <laughs> That's fine. Um. So basically, what's happening for? Cause I'm kind of skipping through some of the taxes. Like he's saying, "Oh, you must be tired. Please take um a rest and uh, then introduce yourself to the townspeople." Yada yada yada. Same old, same old stuff. Or the at least use. the usual stuff in this type of game. Um, and then if when I need to ship, I should ship in this um, shipping box. Yeah. 
It's like a mailbox, but bigger. Yeah. Here's my mailbox. And infinite. Yeah. My mailbox always looks like it ha like it's up and... and uh, it is really raining. It might be hail. I'm going to go look. Hold on. You you keep entertaining. All right. Um. Yeah. I can... Par parsnip seeds. Oh, parsnip still. Yeah. I thought it was like... Uh, no, it's not random. It's always parsnip. Um, hey, all you lovely viewers. How's it going? Um, it is really, really coming down right now. And there is quite a bit of thunder and lightning out there. Um, Oliver confirms that we will be fine. Uh, I didn't actually look at my fortune, so... Um, ooh, everyone with good fortune. Um, I, yeah, I haven't really figured out what that means. So here's my uh, inventory. Uh, one of the features is you can organize it automatically, which I really like sometimes, especially when I want to get the watering can like right there. Um, and so we're just going to, I'm going to just clear. Wear down your energy a bit. Um, yeah, with the energy I have a lot of. Uh, I'm just kind of clear some space out for crops and uh for the parsnip seeds yeah 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 uh i don't even think i like got to parsnips until the second day oh i've always gotten them on the first i i think what i did was i ended up going and uh into town and talking to people and doing all that yeah. first Wait, yeah no, did i well i mean introducing yourself takes days in this uh yeah it definitely does like it it it's definitely it is a process so in my game, uh, I've been playing, I think I'm on the first or second of summer right now, mm -hmm. viewers. And you see those two patches of grass by uh, by the player character? Yeah, down there. Right, these ones. Yeah, they've merged and become much, much bigger. Well, they had merged and become much bigger uh, until I finally got my silo. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my God. So one of the tips of the game uh, from a, a number of like you know people and guides. Oh, you still got three. Yep. Um, the I miscounted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. So many parsnips. Yeah, I'm doing all of them at once. Yup. Why not? Uh, one of the things I love about this game is you can see how much water is in your watering can. Over down here, you can see it kind of move going down. Oh my God! Yes. In Harvest Moon, you um, didn't weren't often able to see what's uh, what was going on. Uh, that is totally what that was. So cutting down everything, you're able to get um, some resources like wood uh, from the logs or fiber from um, from the the weeds and stuff like that. And you, you can, can also use... get seeds from the weeds. Yeah, and and from trees. And you can use these materials to craft things. And uh, you learn how to craft things, uh, uh, more things as you level up during um, different uh, skills. So like right now, I can make like campfire, cobblestone, gravel, wood paths, a torch, a chest, a gate, a wood fence. And like as I uh, level up, farming, mining, forging, fishing, combats, uh, type of things, I will. Um, I'll get the option to... Uh, oh, you should check your quest. Oh. To, um, uh, to craft more stuff. Yep. And it's it's really, really, a really interesting system. So this is just, uh, get get a parsnip. Grow a parsnip. And this is introduce yourself to all the people in the valley. So and let's... you've already been introduced to two people. We got Robin the carpenter yeah. and uh, the mayor. The mayor. Um, yep. Crazy mayor. I probably actually should just use my axe. Eh, there. it'll regrow. Yeah, that's for sure. It'll regrow real quick. You're just like, oh boy, let me tell you, will it regrow? Um, and so we'll uh, we're gonna go pick up all the dandelions. And yeah, the, now that oh, I, and the leeks. Now that I know what the fuck I'm actually doing in this game, it only took me uh to uh the third time i uh, starting a new game to really have a clear idea of the best approach to take because like i don't want to look at a guide and be like uh right before i start the first playthrough well you didn't even make it through a full playthrough you just no like, it's true so you can like, we already know oh yeah check all the trash cans yeah we wouldn't know that for sure oh i thought about it um 
This is Penny. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little cutie. Um, we're gonna go to. Uh, and you don't always get stuff in the trash cans. Oh God, this, this is guy. This bro. Hey, he's, bro. He is the broiest bro. So you're the new bro, huh? Bro, cool. Them all. Bro, bro. Um, hey, bro. I'll see you around, bro. Bro, bro. Subtle bro reference. Bro. Um. You're gonna start like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking woman, George. Already. Yes. You can call me Granny if you like. I love Evelyn. She's so sweet. Here's George. He's a bitter old man. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, bros off. Hmm? All right. Um, I know he really likes leaks. So we're just gonna butter him up with leaks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can also check your status with uh, how much people like you. Right now, George likes me the most, but he doesn't have any hearts. Um, and you can see all the people that you haven't met and have met and blah, blah, blah. And you can give gifts to most people. Yeah. And, um, but you can only give two gifts a week. And I that really, resets every Sunday. I really like that. Like, yeah, it's really lot. cool. Um, or it's not cool. But, well, anyway. It's wonderful. It's... So, anyways, we should probably do this next... Or continue meeting all the peoples next time. Oh, it sells in a submarine. Oh, jeez. It's our new time? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's, we've gone way over. Uh, sorry for this extra long episode, I don't everybody. think people are going to care. Good. Um, so... We should probably go back and sell. Yeah. So, remember to um, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll uh, see you next time, everybody. Yep. Have a good one. Bye.